Ridiculous. May I continue? Oh, oh yes! yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Morning and noonin' or afternoonin'. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, Fre Fern. Uh, I'm Apple Dumpling, and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. Hey, why, that's, that's stealing! Stealing, schmealing, after that peeling! Hey, that's stealing too! That's right! One bad turn deserves another! <laughs> oh, look! What is it? A little fish. He is kind of cute. Kinda. Aren't those the cutest, fattest, most adorable cheeks you've ever seen? Aw, hey little guy. Hey sweetie. Hi there. Don't be scared. Are you all by yourself? You're too little to be all alone. Oh, poor little guy. Oh, well, I'm sure he's fine. And, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking him home. But someone's got to take care of him. Poor little guy. All alone in the big world. Come here, little guy. Orange, wait. We Come on, little. What? You can trust me. Yeah, I won't hurt you. <laughs> Listen for a sec, okay? I'm listening, I'm listening, but <laughs> he's going to get away. <laughs> hey, that I just ask that you consider something. He might be cute and little now, but he's going to grow. And then he might be harder to take care of. You are most <laughs> you are most likely right, Strawberry. But you always say, even though we're bitty, we're capable of big <laughs> things. <laughs> 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 
out! I mean, someone's got to take care of him. <laughs> hey, where is he? Look, you see? He wants to come home with me. I think I'll name you... Butch. Butch? He looks like a butch. He looks like trouble. Cute as he is. But it's up to you, Orange. Aw, oh, come on, Strawberry. Don't you trust me? Of course, but... Well, I'm gonna prove it to you. I'm gonna take better care of this fish than any fish has ever been taken care of before. I'm going to feed you and read to you every night. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to read you my favorite stories. And we'll give you a beautiful home where you'll be safe and warm. Oh, I mean cool. <laughs> Just wait till you see. You're gonna love it there. What's happening? What's clue. this all about, Strawberry? Yeah, what's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> when that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that, the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin. But then, they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved. But only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen <laughs> berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh. Oh my, I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kinda, sorta, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Come on, everybody. Kick, you better wait here. Take care of the package, okay? <laughs> Lemon, are you okay? Uh, uh, sure, sure. 
What is it? Something's wrong, isn't it? Here, there's a great article on two-tone toenail polish. I would like to see how my hair looks. Oh, hold on. I used a new hair mousse, and it's not exactly working out. I'm scared she's gonna... Oh, I don't want to think what she'll do when she sees. It's too terrible to... Let me see. Okay, but please keep your cool. As always. Yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Wow, that's a... a hairstyle, all right. Now can I? Not yet. Lemon, I've got to deliver a package for the postmaster. I'd love to stay, but... Oh, no, 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 no. You can't leave me. Please, Strawberry, please think of something. I don't know what to do. I'd like to keep Blueberry as my friend, but when she finds out, she's gonna... Oh, and then she'll... Oh, ouch. Okay, where's the bottle? Hmm. You know, I had a cake recipe that kept coming out just like that. Too hard, so I added pudding to the mix. Pudding? Try washing her hair with some vanilla pudding, then rinse it, then add stay-in conditioner with a little, um, avocado oil. That should smooth it all down. Hmm, you think? Worth a try. And don't worry, Blueberry always comes around. <sighs> Thanks, Strawberry. You calmed me down. I was just so flustered I couldn't think. <laughs> You're very welcome. Berry Bitty City Post Office. We do the very best we can. J.D. Bug speaking. <gasps> oh, no. Uh, yes, sir. I'll tell her right away. Has Strawberry gone yet? Yeah. Uh, why? The postmaster just heard that the storm we had the other night, it blocked the road to Acorn Acres. She won't be able to get through. <gasps> oh, no! Strawberry? Strawberry, come back! the road, it'd take us too long. Oh, I think the only thing to do is keep going without the scooter. to Rosevale, Brookville, um, and that must be the way to Acorn Acres. Great. Raspberry, could you take the morning 
shift at the cafe today, I need to turn off my phone and focus on my design. T-T-Y-L and send. That's what you get when you skip breakfast. Oh, muffin crumbs. Forgot to pack breakfast. Hey, strawberries. Oh, not ripe. There's got to be a ripe one around here somewhere. <laughs> Text? No. Didn't you get my text? Flying Waffles! The cafe! Wait! Do you smell that? Yeah! Smells really good! It's no one's fault, Sour. Things just happen. If you had checked the air, maybe things wouldn't have just huh? happened. I would have if you hadn't insisted on doing it yourself, silly. I didn't. But you said you're the only one who knows how. Well, I am. We got flat tires because you wanted to drive through this turnip patch. Strawberry patch! Who's that? Oh, customers! Okay, Sour, customers. Sunshine, sweetness, smiles. I'm smiling on the inside. Good morning. Welcome to Sweet and Sour's food truck. I'm Sweet, she's Sour. We're Sweet and Sour grapes. We're twins. But we're nothing alike. May I offer you my whipped and whirled peach parfait? Well, thank you. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. If you want delicious, stuff your face with my curried cucumber canapé. Oh! Mmm. Enjoy a persimmon hazelnut honey waffle. Chew on this sun-dried tomato and chili crepe. Bite-sized berry brittle. Dice dates a la sour. No! Stop! It's so, so good. good! Which one? It was the dates, wasn't it? I can't make up my mind. But one thing is certain. You girls sure can cook. Lemon, what if we get that? I know we just met, and we barely know you, but how would you like a job? Great! The Barricans are on it. They're gonna take care of the food truck. Do you think this is gonna work? Piece of cake. I'll get them to set up in the cafe while you try your new hair cam on Strawberry. Then you can have her for your skirt fitting this afternoon. Deal! Okay, now don't move. about to make fashion history! <gasps> Good afternoon, miss. Please have a seat. Take your order. Uh, who, who are? No hurry. Take your time to peruse our menu of delicious, delectable, and simply delightful dishes. I'll be back in a jiffy. What'll it be? Uh, someone already. Uh, wait, who? What's with your hair? What? Never mind. Taste can't be learned, but lucky for you, you get to taste one of my, I mean, our specials. Today we have sweets, banana, butter, squash, bleh, I mean, bisque. 
Sours Salsify Sunflower Salad. Mmm, it's a winner. And I don't know why I even mentioned this special. The other chef made it. But <sighs> sweet strawberry fondue. Or I should say fondue. <laughs> Oh, and I highly recommend my spicy ricey jalapeno omelet with peanut butter chutney. Uh... Maybe if I go bake a cake and come back, you'll have made up your mind by then. The canteen of chocolate milk! <laughs> Like she said, we was about halfway up the trace, resting our dogs for a spell. Hey now, Plum, ain't that for strawberries, hot chocolate? We're meant to save that for around the campfire. Ah, oh, dang, Nabbit, y'all are right. Must be off my rocker. Then I up and recollected I'd been hankering to show the gals a new dance routine I'd been working on. Now, look here. Might come in handy next time we're high stepping at a square dance. <gasps> Sizzling sassafras! <laughs> oh, blusteration. It went down a critter hole. Boy, howdy. We're in for now. That strawberry's hot chocolate. Gotta get it back. We're with you, partner. Brisk up, gals. Here goes a nothing. So back up, we clomb down into that fire hole. Hold your horses now. Where'd that canteen get to? By all rights, should be right here. <laughs> well, there we was, down a hole without a coil. And then we heard something that made us wish we was anywhere but there. <gasps> hey, now. That canteen is iron, Buster. Gotta hand it over real friendly-like. Wouldn't you know it? That critter was skittish as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Ballerish. Well, now the hair's in the butter. After that varmint! Easy now, boy. Easy. Keep him in the corral. Now, don't get his dander up. I'm gonna... He's on the prod, Plum. You best up lively. And I leapt up on him. Never have you seen such a catawumpus. Yeah! Ride him, Plum! Stick to your saddle. Rain him in! Get up, cowgirl! Woo! Yeah! Woo! Woo! Well, I'm here to tell you, it was a rip snorting ride. That vermin threw me and was about to head for the high horizon. We could see we had just as much a chance taking our loop back as catching a weasel asleep. But we made a fair shake in the end. What do you think there, partner? <laughs> That's okay, big fella. We love you too. Okay, what's next on the menu? Grape, grape, grandy. Mmm, <sighs> mmm, mmm. Strawberry, you have done it again. Simple words fail to describe the great goodness, the incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Morning, Strawberry. A delightful dish called Great Great Brandy. Morning, Apple. Oh, uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your great great grandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. <laughs> great, thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, 10 Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, 17 Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. 
Uh, two mucho mocha mango mooses. Excellent. Oh, uh, almost forgot. New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting. Part of the problem. Saying things exactly, that's a who, no, uh. It's kind of like a what do you say when you want to say something but can't find the right words problem. Oh, I understand. So, what kind of things do you want to say? Well, <laughs> see, that's right there, another problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I gotta find some other words to say instead. I think I have something that'll help. You do, you do. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar. Doesn't like my biscuits. I must be a terrible cook. What'll I do? I can't give the other pups the biscuits I made them. They won't like them either. What if I gave you a crash course in cooking? Really? Would you, Sour? But you have to be serious and pay attention and follow orders. I promise. First, a cup of flour. Then a teaspoon of salt. Cup of flour, teaspoon of salt. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. Cup of oil, teaspoon of paprika, tablespoon of lemon juice. <sighs> oh, great. Just great. I knew it! I'm brilliant. Brilliant. Mmm. You are. You're a natural chef, Apple. Really, Sour? But I taught you everything you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I mean, how could sweet pet primrose be so, so fiendish? People always have a dark side, Sweet. Sweet doesn't have a dark side. <laughs> Hi, Apple. Glad to see you. What 
whatever brought the cider. So, who done it? Who knows? We're only on chapter four. Some people don't like to skip to the end. You want to know the real mystery? It's that you all sit here every week wondering about it instead of finishing the book at home. <laughs> Ouch! That was pretty good. Have a popover. I made him myself. Sour helped me. She taught me everything I know. Psych! <laughs> no, here, just kidding. They're really good, Apple. I knew it. I'm brilliant. Catch you later. Gotta go visit with my real friends. <laughs> see you. Not if I see you first. What? You were right about the dark side. What did you do to her? Just gave her a cooking lesson. And she's a natural. And there was nothing natural about that. Nothing naturally. Apple, she's acting like... like you. Oh, no. She's a... sour apple. You know, last time, Lemon, my polish chipped in one day. Maybe a free makeover is in order? Well, I did warn you to wait till it dried, but you rushed out of here. I don't have time for slow drying polish. <sighs> it's normal drying, but... Hey, Beauty Betty, are you paying attention to what you're doing? <gasps> what did you say? You got polish on my fingertip. Do you think you can keep it on the nail, or do we need to get you connected dots? <gasps> Whoa. Apple, what's gotten into you? What's gotten into me? Hmm. I think I learned to cook in one day, but Lemon needs to go back to beauty school for, like, forever. <gasps> Apple? I've had it with this chop shop. Good luck, good riddance, and goodbye. <laughs> Oh, it's you. You what? I want to give you a free makeover to correct what happened this morning. Uh-huh. Well, I guess so. Now that's more like it. Hello, Apple. Uh, what's the deal? How can I get my free makeover with all these customers ahead of me? 